All right, welcome to my next video on the node by node challenge where we're going through every single node within the blender shading workspace version 4.3 we went through the inputs the outputs the colors and we're on the converters uh, today we are going through separate color so separate color is a way that you can take a color single color input and be able to convert it over into three different channels red green and blue Okay, now you can also do this based on the HSV or HSL values, same concept, uh, so we'll just go through the RGB. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to input something into here. So let's say I'll use a Voronoi texture again, I'll drop it into the color, and it allows you to pick one of these channels. Now, when you do this and you're pulling it out, it's not going to come out as an actual color, what it's going to come out as a grayscale. So what will happen is if I just drop the red channel into the color, it's going to give a grayscale pattern based on the red channel. If I did the green, it's going to look different. It's going to have different uh, shades, similar pattern or the same pattern, but you're going to have different shades because of the, the brightness and contrast and color that comes out of it. Um, and same with blue. So the combination of those three would, would bring it back. Now, if you all of a sudden took and you added in a combine RGB, okay, so a combined color, and plugged this back in, and you you did this, well, one, you could put it to the wrong ones, it does give you a kind of a weird output, but let's say that you did blue to blue, green to green, red to red, it's going to come out exactly the same, because all you're doing is creating three channels. Now, what can happen is, is that let's say that you wanted to adjust each of these channels individually to be able to make something happen to them for, you know, whatever you wanted to do, you could actually take other nodes and add them in here. So let's say that we added in something like a color ramp and we added this into our red channel and we wanted to really like make the reds super contrasty. Okay, so that means that you're changing what it looks like for each channel. Now you can go through and you can make full on textures based on one color strand. And you'll see a lot of people that do really complex textures go through and they'll actually, they'll separate the color of a texture and they'll create three different channels to be able to create um, some sort of pattern and design that's on different levels within the, the actual texture. Um, but this, the real simplest form is just know that all it's doing is taking a color, separating it to three separate colors. You can do three channels of whatever you want and then bring it back in at the end and combine it back to the base color. So hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Like, follow, share, and, uh, and make sure you stay tuned for the next ones.